when you went into the portal? Um, it was actually weird because Coach Murph had hit me at like midnight um, on a given day. And, you know, from then it was just talks back and forth. And I think the thing that really did it was just um, how much they showed they wanted me. Uh, you know, Coach Murph was blowing up, blowing up my phone. Um, Coach Lord, we had great conversations back and forth. So I think it was just creating that relationship with uh, the coaches on the staff. Had there already been any of the other additions announced at that point? Um, I don't believe so. Okay, so I don't, I don't know, know if that had any impact on knowing who else was coming or anything like that. Uh, I, I think I think Trey had committed a little bit beforehand. Mm -hmm. Now that now that I'm thinking, um, but me and him I talked a little bit beforehand, and you know he seemed like a great guy. Um, you know we're 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 really great friends now. Um, so, you know Murph has, Murph had kind of mentioned how me and him have you know similar personalities and how we would get along and how sort of our play styles complement each other. So, um, just taking all that into account, I think uh, you know. That really made me think that Arizona was the right choice. What is your playing style? How do you think you'll add to the team? Uh, I would say tough, gritty, hard nose. Um, pride myself on re rebounding the basketball, uh, playing defense, um, sort of doing all the little things to help my team win. Um, obviously, scoring, I'm trying to improve in, uh, being more comfortable making playmaking decisions, things of that nature. So um, I think that's a good little synopsis, you know. You, you kind of had to be that way at, at Tennessee, right? That's how Coach Barnes uh, preached it? Yeah, yeah. Coach Barnes is definitely heavy on effort, defense, um, making game-winning plays. So I definitely think that's uh, something he definitely uh, taught me for sure. You figure that's going to be, I mean, are you kind of embracing that, the, the, pack, the, the playing ahead in the Big 12? And, you know, everybody talks about toughness. And mm -hmm. you lost a couple of big guys. This team did. I mean, just having it. Yeah, I think it's something that I definitely need to bring to the team to help us win. Uh, you know, you have teams like Houston, Kansas. Um, so, you know, being tough on the glass, playing defense, you know, those are all really important things to win in this league. Were you on the Tennessee team that played here in Tucson during the non-conference? I was. I what was. You, what do you remember from that night and just playing in the kill and, and being in that type of environment in that game? Uh, the atmosphere was great. Um, it was a great environment. Um, the fans were really tuned in. Uh, it was it, it was a really good game, um, and at, at that point I, I was playing a little bit more, so I you know I got to go up against you know guys like Balo and Tubella, so it was definitely a, a good challenge for me, you know, for my freshman year. Did it seem? What did it feel like when you first get out get out on McHale wearing an Arizona practice shirt? Yeah, you know, did you remember that game? Did it flash back at all to you or anything, or it totally different? Uh, I would say it was a little different, um, but I would say you know just. Being in Tucson in a new place, it was a little surreal, you know. But at, at the end of the day, I felt like um, the guys here really made me feel at home. It kind of felt like, you know, I'd, I'd already been here a year just with how smoothly I was able to transition and things like that. So it's definitely been a great experience. You mentioned Jaden Bradley. You both come from New York, both come from SEC schools. Did you know him before coming here? So uh, JB had played on uh, Chris Paul's AAU team, CP3. So I, I remember playing against him. Um, in high school, uh, I was on New York Lightning. He was on CP3, so I sort of heard about him, knew knew, knew his game. Um, but the fact that you know two New York guys are here, I think is pretty cool. So uh, you, you mentioned um, with Trey and JB, or like, well, are you you got to be good friends with those guys. Anybody else too that you kind of got to know pretty well? So. Really, really all the guys. Uh, Conrad Martinez, great great guy, um, funny dude, <laughs> um, Crevis. Uh, it's been fun sort of battling with him, you know, during practices and, and things like that and just getting to know him. Uh, Delhi's been great as well. Caleb, KJ, really, really all the guys. I could I could speak, you know, great things about them all. How, how's the uh, pace been in practice? I, I imagine it's a little quicker than what you're used to as far as getting up and down the court. Uh, yeah, I think I think transition is a, a big thing. We, we like to push the ball for sure. And then just within the half court offense, the bigs are, are moving a lot, you know, flashing, setting screens, things like that. So it's definitely gotten some uh, taken used to, you know. But um, I just feel like with you know with with more reps and just sort of um, listening to the coaches, watching the film, um, you know, I'm getting better day by day. What well, any other differences that you notice along those lines with what you the system in Tennessee and what you had to adjust to? Um, I would say they're they're similar in the sense that they're big oriented more so. 
Um, I would say probably here, like the pace is just a little faster, but I would I would still say that the foundations are, are pretty similar. I hear you're an avid reader. Um, you started yeah. a book club at Tennessee. Yeah. Um, why did you start the book club, and is that something you might want to do here? Um. So, me and Josiah Jordan James uh, at Tennessee, we we really like to read, so we sort of share with each other what we're reading here and there. Um, but it was really something still within me from my mom. Um, you know, I used to hate reading when I was younger, and every summer when school was out, she would force me and my siblings to go to the uh, library. And then from then on, I just kind of, you know, started to get into things I was more so interested in. And from there, you know, my, my uh, love for reading kind of grew. Um, but yeah, you know, this one, I've talked to a few of the guys about it here and there. Uh, one of our managers, Coleman, we, we talked about it too. So, you know, hopefully there's something in the works, you know. So what kind of genres do you like? Uh, anything really. I was big on psychology for a little bit and theology. Um, I was thinking about starting the book, uh, The Myth of Sisyphus by Albert Camus. So um, yeah, really anything, honestly. In terms of the differences, you talked about the offensive side of the ball in terms of pace and whatnot, mm -hmm. but defensively, how different is it from Rick Barnes' system to Tommy's system and just learning a whole new difference of scheme? Uh, surprisingly enough, the schemes are pretty similar, I would say. I think that the biggest thing is just understanding the terminology. Um, you know, different coaches call different, you know, movements and actions different things. So I think that's been the biggest thing. But I would say the philosophies are, are, are pretty similar. Um, were there, you know, you, you mentioned when you came here as far as, like, maybe cutting down on fouls. Is there any other emphasis, is it, you know, things in your game that you, you know, especially – over the summer when you have that extra time for, for individual work and you've kind of been trying to add to your game? Right, yeah, fouling has definitely been one. Uh, uh, just making better decisions on the perimeter, uh, playmaking, uh, knowing how to read defenders and how to help my guards, you know, in the pick and roll, uh, things like that. Um, but I would just say, yeah, just, just playmaking. Also, you know, being able to shoot the 15-foot jumper and possibly extend it to three-point range as well, that's something I've been looking to improve on also. Do you see yourself uh, mostly as a four or sometimes into the five as well? Well, I think in our offense, the four and five are pretty interchangeable. So I think either one I'd be able to play. Well, so what, you know, off the court, you know, so far anyway, I, I see you've had a fair amount of time over the summer and, and into this fall. Like, what do you, what do you guys, what have you been doing? And do you, do you, or when it's super hot, do you, do you do a lot of reading inside? Or have you, where, where you, you been going out to places or what have you been up to? Uh, Reading's definitely been one. Uh, me and Trey for a little bit, we're, we're, we're watching movies together too. Um, me, him, and a few of our other teammates. Uh, uh, me and JB, actually, we love playing NCAA 25, the new game that, that just came out, so that's been pretty fun. Um, so yeah, just sort of like a mix of all those kind of things. Have you noticed a difference? Is, is Knoxville in the mountains? It's Smoky Mountains, right? No, nah, that's a little... Smoke them out, yeah. Have you noticed yeah. a difference in that, with the elevation here at all, or any any sort of difference in, plant, in just being in Tucson? Compared? It's definitely hotter, for sure. Yeah. It's definitely hotter. Uh, when I first got here, I, that was something I definitely had to get used to. But other than that, I think the scenery is great. Uh, the mountains, um, looking at those, driving around is great. Um, but yeah, the desert is definitely a different animal, for sure. So got to stay hydrated and all that. But yeah. As someone who's bounced around the country a little bit, what would you say is like the biggest adjustment that you've had to make going from the Northeast to the South and then the Southwest? Um, I think it's just really finding a good day-to-day -day schedule routine to fall into. Um, you know, different places sort of have different ways they, they run things. So I guess just internally like creating a clock for myself and a, and a system to be as productive and efficient as possible. How would you say, you talking about the outside, but just the towns, Knoxville versus Tucson, how do they compare in your mind? Uh, Tucson, I would say, is a little bit more old school, I would say. Um, but I really like the vibe, though. You know, it's 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 definitely a little different, um, but it's, it's kind of hard to pinpoint with words. It's one of those things that you kind of have to experience, you know. Any places you like to hang out? Off, off campus? It's really just with my teammates, you know, they have dorms not too far from here, uh, from the, from the arena. Um, so it's really just wherever they go, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with them, you know, just trying to team bond and all that stuff. Has there been anything you've learned from uh, Shemek, uh, 
Oh boy. Big man skills. Shemek is a brick wall. I think going up against him in practice has been really beneficial for me. Uh, I know back during his playing days, he was he was an amazing player, and I'm definitely grateful. And I know and I know the team and the staff are grateful to have him here just to spread his knowledge. But um, in terms of footwork, positioning, stuff like that, he's really taught me a lot. And just to understand sort of what reads to make uh, when having the ball in the post, what to do if you know they're double teaming from the bottom side or from the top side, things like that. So just it's he's he's been really influential this past summer. How's it been with Krebus and did you go? Against him a lot? Are you going? Are you playing together a lot? And you know, what's, mm-hmm. what's kind of have you guys kind of sharpened each other? How's that going? For sure, for sure. Um, you know, he 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 had been playing uh, overseas for a little bit, and then, and then and then came back. So just working out with him, being able to interact with him has been great. He's a he's a really good person, uh, and he's really dedicated to his craft. You know, he's somebody that really sharpens you as as a player when you're working out with him. Things like that it makes you want to be better as well. Well, you, you guys uh, getting close to you know playing a couple of Red Blue games and mm-hmm. going to the exhibition season. How do you feel about that? And- I'm super excited, super excited. We had uh, sort of some fan stuff uh, at Tennessee, but uh, you know just understanding how important the Red and Blue game is here, and you know the fact that we're doing it in Tucson, but also in Phoenix, two of them is uh, is is, is a really great, and I really can't wait to you know experience it. Do you feel like, it, well, you also have like fuller practices coming up. Do you feel like you've already got a pretty good grip on things, or, or is there an anticipation of, you know, when you get into those, you know, two and a half hour a day type of deals, mm-hmm. you know, all week, what, what's ahead? You know, what, what's kind of where do you guys feel like you're at at this point? I, I feel really strongly about this team. I think we're very uh, in tune with each other, um, very, very unified. Uh, but obviously, when you get like, you know, new guys together, uh, on a team, it's going to take some time for you to figure each other out, your, your tendencies, what um, what to make your, your your teammate best in terms of passing them the ball and, and things like that. So I think you know that stuff is obviously going to still be a work in progress, even when the season starts. Um, but right now, I just really like how we've gelled together and how you know as a team we, we push each other during practice. What do you think about what, what's your guys' view on? And you're, you you personally are just on expectations with this team. I've seen things where there's like. You're picked fifth in the Big 12, but you're in the top 10 nationally, and you know mm-hmm. five teams in the Big 12 uh, that could be in the top 10, top 15, whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you guys feel like you're in there and you know it could be as good as anybody, or what, what, what's kind of the, the expectations within the program? Uh, personally, I don't really pay attention to the rankings and the outside noise. Uh, I'm kind of confident in what this team is able to do and the work that we've put in throughout the whole summer and continue to put in. And I think, you know, we have the possibility to make a Final Four and, and win a national championship. Uh, that's my goal. And I'm sure, you know, the other uh, guys in the team um, share that sentiment. Jeff Bruce? Right, yeah. Cool. Thanks, Tom. All right. Thanks.